Welcome back to The Daily Dish. We have Missy here from My Love is Makeup. And this is the second part of your three-part makeup series. Yeah, it is. You're doing, and we explained to our viewers that you're doing bold eyeshadows today. Right, yeah, we've had a lot of people ask and send messages in on how do I wear the blues and how do I wear bold colors. Look at yours. Get out of their natural, yeah. Give us the clothes. Getting out of our natural colors that we use the brown, so I'm totally sporting the... No, and I didn't notice color Missy the until we got, I got close up. I thought your eyes looked amazing, but it oh, just makes them pop. Thanks. Yeah, and this is one of those things, like when you have blue eyes, you don't think you can wear blue eyeshadow. This is a great color for blue eyes. It's actually like a seafoam greenish blue color. Um, so it's really good. So any color of eyes can wear this new trend. But first of all, can I just say, Fridays at the station are so much fun. <laughs> They're so, They're so fun. Everybody's in such a good mood. Everyone's I just, I just have mood. a really good, good time here, so it's fun. <laughs> Well, let's get started on makeup. So what I've done um, for you guys to try to keep it simple is when you're going for a bold color, you're going to start with three colors, a light, a medium, and a dark. So what you'll see here, I'll just hold this up here, um, and what, we're what I've done here is I've taken, let the medium color be your pop of color, okay? So you're going to go with a light, the medium. Now, Missy, but they're all not the same color family. One's pink, and right. then you have the purples in there. That's okay? Yeah, that's okay. So what you're going to want to do is anything that complements each other, you can pair up in this three trio mm -hmm. eyeshadow series. So this is what I'm wearing here, so you can see these three colors. So I've taken, by the way, this, this middle color is so gorgeous. It's called Utopia. No, it matches your shirt. Uh -huh. I know. Exactly. Too. And I don't know if that's right to do, but that's okay. I like it. Um, and then, again, just pairing it with a darker color that's in the same family, that will work. So what we've done on Victoria, our beautiful model Victoria, she, um, she has some exciting news, actually, for all you viewers out, viewers out there. You're going to get used to this, seeing this face. She just landed a role on a new soap opera. <gasps> Good for you. It's called Hi. Proper Manners. Manners, M-A-N-O-R-S. So you look it up online and see. So we're excited to have her here. So what I've done, you've already seen your intense color, the medium. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the color that we're using to pop, the pop of color. What I've done is just from the crease down to the lash line is that it's going to be that medium color. So you cover the entire lid? The entire lid from the crease down. Now so this is just, key. You this, don't want to go above the crease. And this color. is where you, the color you start with. You don't start with the lightest don't one Don't start first. with the light one. Start with the medium. Okay. Your, your pop of color is going to be from there to the, down to the lash line. Okay, so then you're going to come back in, take your light color, mm -hmm. and the light color you're going to want to run right here in the tear duct. So right there in the little, corner to brighten it up, and also under the arch. Fill that all in. Right. right there. And if you're going to do it under the arch, make sure it's kind of a pale vanilla color, or like this pink works really good, but you don't want to be putting like a lime green color up under here, so just be aware of that. The third color is our dark shade that we're using. This is a beautiful color called Dynasty from Motives. That's beautiful. Isn't that one really mm -hmm. pretty? So this one, what you're going to do, go ahead and close, is you're going to do this little triangle out here on the outer corner. Missy, do you have a trick for doing that on yourself? It's so easy to do on others because you can see that V shape. Yeah, the is it trick. Good to wink? The good trick that I use open, and I'll show you guys. See, so keep this little guide line right here, um, the bottom lash line as your guide. So what you're going to want to do is not run this dark color underneath this side of the line. So use this as a guide, mm -hmm. and stay within that. So go ahead and close, and just use your crease, you know, as your. Um, as your guide as well. So you're going to stay in that crease. No, I like so I the, the dark color because it defines the eye, the it shape does. of the eye. And it's just going to mute out that neutral or that medium color so it's not so crazy bold. But this just creates a wearable pop of color. Missy, who can wear pastels like this and bold colors? This color is really good. Um, everybody can wear it to a certain extent. So you're going to want to keep a pop of color or that bright, vibrant color. The older you get, keep that color closer to the lash line. So don't get too crazy with your, with your intense colors, but don't be afraid of them either. Get them out and try them, and put them close to the lash line if you just want to try with a little bit of color. Um, but pastels and stuff look great on everybody. You also did a liner. Do you do like a softer liner when you do that kind of bold shadow? Yeah, I just did a, um, a black liner, um, and also the darker shade, guys, you're going to want to run this under the bottom third of the eye right here. Oh, see, I like so it for that So you're still playing that look. color, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And that's how we do... Um, a bold color or a bold eye. So stick with those three tones as your guide. So when you're selecting a color, just get a light, a medium, and a dark, and let the medium be the one that you're 
you're going to show and showcase as the bright color. And you follow the same pattern with your eye as well, just with these three. Yeah, channels. and there is advanced techniques. This was a basic one, so anybody who wants to start trying the new spring trends, this is a great way to start if you haven't worn bold color before. But if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you're going to have to attend one of my workshops. So for $15, you can get advanced training. Um, and just jump on my, my, my Love is Makeup Facebook page. Uh, or email me. And I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for sending in all the messages and requests for what we do on the show. I really appreciate it. Well, Missy, it. we love having you on the show. We love all of your tips. All your information is right there on the screen. You can also go to our website. We will have all of Missy's information there for you, too. To week. And definitely go to one of our workshops. Yeah, it'll be great. And then on Monday, you're going to see Victoria again. We're doing a series on designer lashes. So we're sending her off today to go get her mink lashes on. And we're going to show you guys what that looks like on Monday. Victoria, awesome. you might have to take her with you to do your makeup on set. She's talked about it. <laughs> She's like, I'm stealing you. She is. Stealing you, Missy. She is. Hey, time to check in with the